So in this example, we're going to go ahead and solve this numeric word problem. So it says when you reverse the digits in a certain two-digit number, you increase its value by 54. So find the number if the sum of the digits is 10. So I've gone ahead and written down all the pertinent information that we need. So if it's a two-digit number, then we have two values that I need to find. We could call the number in the ones place u and the number in the tens place t, maybe for tens and then units, because I don't want to use an, an o for the ones place because o's get looking like zeros and then we get ourselves in trouble. We don't like that. So we have the units place and we have the tens place. Well, what's the value of any number that's in the units place? Well, it's just u. And what's the value of any digit in the tens place? Well, it's actually 10t, all right, because it's in the tens place. So we have reversing the digits increases the number of 554. So our original number is going to be 10t plus u, and again, it's 10t because this digit, whatever the digit is, when I multiply it by 10, it moves it from the ones place to the tens place. And then I have the units place here. So when I switch the order, so 10u plus t, it increases the number by 54. So this number has been increased by 54. So if I subtract 54, then these two expressions are equal. We also know the sum of the digits is 10. So t plus u equals 10. All right, well here I have a nice system of equations. So I could solve for t here and use substitution. So t equals 10 minus u. And then every time I see a t in this first equation, I could replace it with this expression 10 minus u. So 10t, so... 10 minus u plus u equals 10u plus 10 minus u minus 54. And so now I have a single equation with just one variable, u. So 100 minus 10u plus u equals 10u plus 10 minus u minus 54. So lots of terms here. So there's some like terms here. And of course, like terms here, and then our constants here. So it looks like 100 minus 9u equals 9u minus 44. So let's go ahead and get our u's on this side and our constants on the other. So 144 equals 18u. So when I go ahead and divide both sides by 18, it looks like my u is going to be 8. All right, so... If my u is 8, and I know that the two digits add to 10, then the t must be 2. And let's go ahead and kind of verify that this is correct. So if the t is 2 and the u is 8, that means my original number was 28. So my original number is 28. And I know that reversing the digits increases the number by 54. So let's reverse the digits. So 82 is my number now. So if I subtract these two, well, 54. So it did get increased by 54. So I know it's correct. So let's go ahead and recap for a second what just happened. So we had our two-digit number and some information here. When I set up my two-digit number, the tens place, whatever digit was there, needed to have a variable. So we called it t. And the units place, whatever digit was there, needed to have a variable, and we called that u. And the big relationship here is, what's the value of this two-digit number? Well, it's ten times whatever digits in the tens place, and then plus the units. So this is the way we write the value of a two-digit number if each of its digits gets its own variable.